Oh, wow. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Congratulations. We have made it through the week, and now it is time to go racing this weekend at the Red Bluff Outlaws. But before we do that, we have an awesome piece of content today here on the channel. A lot of you guys love when we make iRacing videos, and if you're unfamiliar with what iRacing is, pretty much it's virtual racing. It's a simulation of what we experience out on the racetrack, and it's probably the closest thing we have to actually being in the seat. Some people say it's a video game. Some people say it's a simulation. It really all depends on how serious you take it but no matter what iRacing is a fun way to kind of escape for what we're doing during the week and have a chance to actually get that competition feel and get behind the wheel of a virtual race car. Now today we are competing in the non-wing 360 at the dirt track at Charlotte. This is a very fun combination for car and track. It seems to get right up on the fence later in the night and earlier in the night it's kind of through the middle and around the bottom so it's continuously changing and it's very racy. But let's jump right into it. We have today's video here on Friday. We're getting ready to leave for the Red Bluff Outlaws this weekend so a lot more fun content is going to be coming your guys way hopefully you guys stay tuned for it and i'm excited to finish off 2020. so as you guys can tell it's pretty dark outside we're doing some late night eye racing here before we head to the red bluff outlaws for points race number four this weekend i was able to time it perfectly to where i roll off dead last from this race i'm not technically calling it like the back row challenge the main reason i wanted to start in the back is because we're pretty quick here in non-wing at charlotte and i think it'd be more entertaining obviously if we try to pass cars from the back then maybe if we qualify good and start in the first three rows. So we took the wings off for today's video. You guys like the iRacing content. I try to bring it a couple times a month and uh, change up the pace. And especially during this time of the year, December, November, January, it's a little bit tougher to pump out as much racing content because we're just not up to a whole lot. So we're gonna have some fun today here on the sim and uh, see what we can do rolling off from 14th, I think, 16th. 16th here in the non-wing, uh, non-wing 360 at Charlotte. The racing in these are pr is pretty phenomenal. phenomenal. So step number one, if we're gonna wanna pass cars, we need to be careful on the start. We don't wanna get a black flag. We just gotta let everyone go, try to miss the first lap wreck, and then once everyone single files out, we'll try to run them down. Also, don't make fun of me if I'm sawing on the wheel. It is a non-wing car. Almost got the infield tire there. Like I said, I knew they were all gonna probably wreck early. We were up to 10th or 12th or somewhere. Not bad. We should be uh, quick enough to pass some guys here on this next restart. So we just jumped up about three spots. We had our original start, then we just had a restart and there was a wreck quickly. So we're gonna be restarting probably like 11th here. Try to see what we can do, get to the top side and hopefully, uh, hopefully if you guys try to dip down low and we'll be able to drive around them. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to float up there. All right, now we're kind of clean and green, and we'll be able to uh, make some moves to the front. Charlotte is really, really fun for running the top side of the racetrack. It seems like if you got a good setup, it just digs on the right rear and uh, has a lot of side bites, so you don't really float up into the wall. Got to be kind of careful with some of these guys. I don't want to wreck them. There we go. Dive down low. We'll take the outside. Bottom is no good. Just tried to go down there and it just way too much wheel spin. I think those two behind me just made a little bit of contact. That's gonna allow us, let's see here where we're at. Into seventh, not bad. Or maybe we're into fifth because it'll update here. Yeah, into fifth, so crack the top five. We're rolling pretty good. Be nice if we could get a yellow though to bunch back up. And there's our yellow. So rolling pretty good up to fifth. 
now with 18 laps to go, I think we should be able to uh, make something happen and try to try to be in the hunt for a win here. So we're currently in the fifth spot. I think we got one lap car uh, in between maybe second and third. So we're going to have to watch out for that, try not to get a black flag, and hopefully everyone kind of just takes off at the right time. Dang it, I really wanted to drop it down low there. I think the bottom in three and four is just way better. It's too slick uh, on entry to three to run the top, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. If we can get into second and get a yellow, I think we got something for the leader, but he just, uh, with those lap cars and with just a few guys in between him and I, it's going to be tough to get him under green here. Oh, wow. That was almost bad. And the yellow comes out perfectly. All right, car might be a little damaged. Ah, we might be good. Well, this is gonna make our race a little bit tougher, but gotta overcome a few obstacles sometimes if you wanna win. So we're getting ready to go back to green here. Might have a little bit of damage on the 18T. Got into the front stretch wall right before that yellow came out. into second that's all we needed now we just gotta hope we don't hit the wall anymore and go for it wow we're getting on the bike i need a yellow car's just not driving the same you might have noticed i'm a little bit more crossed up than i usually am just because got to be a little more up on the wheel with how this thing's handling A little bit of lap traffic might even play a factor into this one. Coming up to two to go this time by, I just, I don't think my stuff's that great right now. Oh no. That lap car just made me have to check up pretty bad there. That's probably it. Man, I think if my car wasn't junked, I would have been good, but just was not driving great the later half of that race. But that was fun. Starting last, able to drive it up to second. You can't win them all. We were four seconds over uh, third place. And I think we were kind of closing the gap there in the late stages, but Aiden ran a good race. He started up front. Didn't make a whole lot of mistakes. I kind of figured maybe when it got a, a little bit thinner up top, he might have gotten to the fence, but that was that was a blast. That's a, that's a great surface we had. All right, let's check out what we did here. Just trying to give the three car a little bit of room and just caught the wall a little bit. I don't think it did a bunch of damage to the car, but it just didn't seem like it, it drove as straight and had the same amount of drive and side bite and everything as before, but all in all, a fun race. I almost decided to end my race right here too. I think this is like five laps later. <laughs> that was almost bad. But anyway, like I said, a fun race. iRacing is a great service. If you guys don't have it, definitely check it out. I'll put a link to the website down in the description down below. Also, my whole setup is always down in the description if you wanna check out what wheel I have. I just got a cheap wheel, I got a nice computer, and it all works out, and I've been playing uh, iRacing now for probably about the last three years. 
If you guys enjoy iRacing content, slap a like on this video. And if you guys want to rip some laps with me, let me know in the comment section down below. Drop your iRacing name. Let me know if you're hosting a server. And if I'm online, I'll definitely jump in and we can race. And if you guys haven't yet, please hit the red subscribe button under this video. Our goal is to hit 40,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. And we are so close to doing that. Anyway, we will talk soon. Have a phenomenal rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. And we're going to have some more content coming out in the next few days. See you on the next one. Deuces.